hello hello everybody how are you guys today welcome back to the channel and if you are new and you're not subscribed yet i'm going to ask you to please subscribe to the channel and of course hit the bell button for the notifications um this channel um is a little bit of everything but mostly is craft um and you guys know that i love um doing some crafting and i'm so happy and glad and i want to say welcome to the, my new subscribers and to the old subscribers thank you for your support always and uh, you guys are awesome you guys are amazing and i love every single one of you and today i have a tutorial i'm going to do this the best i can and you guys uh, remember that i share with you guys how to or know how to i share with you guys um these um cute uh frame uh shadow box frames and some of you guys asked that would would like to see a tutorial this is not original from me i have to say this was a tutorial that i watched a long time ago from i think her name in youtube is crafty heavens if i don't mistake and i learned it from her I don't know if she is the original person who created the whole shadow box frame or if it was somebody else. And if it was like that, I'm going to apologize, but um, I learned it from her, so I'm gonna give her credit for that. So that being said, I'm going to start with the tutorial. I'm gonna put this aside. And um, we are going to need is a piece of cardstock uh, in the size of four, I'm sorry, a piece of cardstock that measures eight by eight. Uh, and this is what is going to be our shadow box frame. And once you have your eight by eight piece of cardstock, we are going to score this. And I'm going to give you the measurements as I'm going to be scoring. You guys gonna score all four sides of the paper. And the first side you're gonna score at half an inch, one inch, one and a half, and two inches. We're gonna turn the paper and we're gonna do exactly the same. We're gonna score a half an inch, one inch, one and a half, two inch. Turn, and we're gonna repeat. And we're gonna turn again for the our last side, and we're gonna score half again at one, one and a half, and two inches, okay. Now we have our four sizes scored. And uh, your score paper, I don't know if you guys, uh, the camera, actually you guys can see it really good, but I'm going to try. Okay, now that we have these like that, we are going to make a couple more scoring lines. And we're gonna do that in this side of the paper, in this side and in the opposite side, okay? And we're gonna score at, I don't know if you guys can see there, but I'm going to move this a little bit down forward. We're gonna score this to the second score line here. We're gonna bring that line, they're gonna come down to the second score line, okay? And we're gonna score at two and a half, and we're gonna score at five and a half. Okay, two and a half and five and a half. And now we're gonna turn the paper to the opposite side and we're gonna repeat. We did it this side, now we're going to do it at this side. We're gonna score at two and a half inch to the second score line and we're gonna score at five and a half inch to the second score line and it's going to look like that in both
both sides, okay? Now we're gonna put the score, uh, scoring tool away. And we're gonna grab the scissors because where we score these two lines, these two last uh, scoring lines, we're gonna cut down to the second line like this. We're gonna go diagonally like this. We're gonna go down here and we're gonna turn our scissors and we're gonna get rid of it, rid of this corner, okay? Now we're gonna do the same thing in this side, okay? We're gonna cut here, we're gonna cut diagonally, we're gonna cut here, and we are going to get rid of this corner here. Okay, and we're gonna have something that looks like this. Okay, now we're gonna do that in the opposite side, in the score line that we made. We're gonna go down to the second line, diagonally and straight to here. And then we're gonna get rid of this. Here again, diagonal like this, okay? And now we are going to cut straight here. And this is what we're gonna have. We're gonna have two sides with these shapes and two sides that are completely like that, okay? Now you guys can get rid of these pieces of paper, that's garbage. And now we're gonna fold and burnish the paper in each score line all around the paper. So, fold and burn, burnish and fold and burnish, okay? Here. Okay, now we have all our parts and they're taking already the shape um, that we need for the shadow box. So now what we're gonna do is uh, glue, uh, I'm going to glue these sizes first. The ones that I didn't cut, these two, I'm going to, uh, glue those again uh, first I'm sorry and to I'm going to um, glue it I'm just going to put glue in this uh, part here okay so and I'm using I get yesterday the, this from Teresa Cullen it's a collaboration Teresa Cullen with Siren and I get this um, at Michael's uh, it was $24.99, but I used uh, my 40% coupon, plus I have a 20% um, additional. So, and I think I paid like $13 for this. So, this is what I'm going to be using, and I'm going to glue, okay? I'm going to glue that part, and what I'm going to do is, you guys see that I glue this, here. So I'm going to fold it like that. Oops. I'm going to fold it like that. And with uh, your a pencil, your sacto knife, your scoring tool, whatever you have, I kind of rub it so the glue stays put there because we don't want this to come apart. Okay, now I'm going to do the opposite side again, just in this part here. Oh, 
already and I'm going to glue it's easier if you guys can do this I see and then you have it there all you need to make sure is that it looks like that, that you have this like a square here okay and exactly the same thing when we glue now these sides but for this side i'm going to put a little bit of glue here in this side because when i fold this like that when i glue this part to the bottom this here is going to be on top of this corner of the paper here okay so i want to put a little bit of glue around here i'm going to use this but for that corner i'm going to use uh, a hot glue right here just a little bit and right here okay so now There we go, and um, there we go. You guys see? Already, so now we're gonna do our last side. Again, apply glue on that side, and I apply a little bit of hot glue over here and a little bit over here okay and now we are going to make our shadow box okay you guys see very easy if it looks like that well that's nothing don't worry about because now and i already did this part um ahead of time because um this was a uh, kind of a time consuming but you want to grab a piece of paper any decorative decorative paper um that is um maybe glitter paper the your maybe your paper of your desire that looks beautiful because you're gonna make a frame this is going to be the frame and for the frame you need a piece of paper that measures four by four inches and then you're gonna cut all around at half an inch okay and then you're gonna have an inside piece that is measured three by three inches so what you're going to do with this is you're going to glue it here okay to the box but before you do that i'm going to um the piece of paper that i use um that i have here this measurement i'm going to save it okay and i'm going to um cut a piece of paper for the inside that measures um i think it measures three by three inches and i have my a square punch board here that uh, from memory keepers and i'm going to cut this already set up at three by three so i'm going to cut a piece of paper the measure um three by three inches okay that is there and this is going to be the piece that is going to go inside here i think my machine moves a little bit yes it did okay let me cut it again at three by three nothing happens okay now because my 
punch bowl. I think when I grab it, I touch the sides where you get your measurements and I, yep, right there. You see, this is gonna go inside. But before we put it inside, I'm going to, um, actually, I'm going to emboss it. And to emboss, I have one of my wooden stamps here and my Versamark um, ink. It is, this is the watermark. It's a little bit beat up because it's really old. And I have here um, my stamp. And I'm going to stamp this design that is really cute. And I'm going to emboss it. And, okay. Um, make sure that you have it aligned, that it's centered very nicely. And, I'm going to press. There we go. Now, I'm going to use my embossing powder. And I'm going to put embossing powder on this to emboss. Okay. And I see. Okay, now before I apply the heat, let me, um, I need to get me one of those trays for um, emboss, embossing and glitter and stuff like that. I really need to get me one of those. Okay, so let me close this so it won't spell everywhere. Put that aside in this here. Now I'm going to grab my embossing tool and I'm going to apply heat to this that we emboss here. Already now this is done and it looks so cute so we we are going to glue this here and to glue I'm just gonna put like four or six some um, dots of hot glue and we're gonna put this inside the box because we cut the paper to the measurement all right okay so there's that and now we are going to glue this uh will be like that onto the frame okay because this is our beautiful frame So you can use hot glue or your uh, ATG gun, double sided pay, uh, tape, whatever you guys would like to use, you can. Um, but right now I'm using this here. And it looks really, really cute. Already. Guys, see? We're gonna embellish it more, but now I want to do the back part that is what it helps um, this back part here, which it helps for this to stand 
like that and for the for the back part we need a piece of uh, paper the measure uh, six inch long by three so let me measure um, this piece here three okay there is the, the piece of paper that you guys have left when you guys cut your cardstock paper at the 8x8 you get a strip of paper that is actually longer than this but this is uh, 3 inches so now what are we going to do is we are going to score this uh, piece of paper we're going to score at at one inch, okay, one inch, at four and one quarter, four and one quarter, and at five and a half, five and a half. You see your curve a little, I don't know why. Right there, okay, and again, we're gonna fold and burnish these pieces, okay, like that. This like that, and this like that, okay? And we're gonna glue this in our back of the frame. We have to make sure that we are in the right position because this a small part, it's gonna go here in the bottom, like that. You're gonna center as best as you can, okay? So I'm going to apply glue. I'm using, again, hot glue. And I'm going to put it there. All right. You guys see? That's how that look. And then, this part here, we're gonna glue it like this, okay? So this part, I'm going to put glue just like that. And we are going to glue it just like that, okay? The best we can. There you go. And there's that. Now, the piece uh, that we cut, this piece here that we got left over, that is actually here, that I measured three by three, we are going to glue that here just to make it look um, more pretty, fancy, whatever you guys want it and just to use that piece of uh, paper because why waste it right so we are going to glue it here there we go guys see and now if you want to embellish that a little bit more and i think it looks you cute can. and adorable guys um i hope you guys understand my tutorial um i tried to explain the best i could on um, um, but this is how this beautiful frame uh shadow box frame looks and i think it could come adorable it's really really cute easy to make um, all you need is time and a little bit of your uh, own products that you have in your crafty stash. You don't have to go out of your way to get anything because uh, with this, you know, you can, with whatever you have, you can achieve this um, project. And if you guys did like this project, uh, don't forget, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below uh, if you guys have any question, if you guys like 
um, the actual project or not. And I will see you guys, of course, in my next video. Bye-bye now.